All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of early speculating about the upcoming 350 million download celebration. You know what? Actually, it's not that early. It's not that early because we know the next download celebration is starting sometime near the end of August and we're already in July so it's less than two months away but I guess it feels early it feels kind of premature to talk about this right now because at the time I'm filming this video the five-year anniversary on global hasn't even started yet so obviously it's kind of hard to focus on anything else but I have been giving this next download celebration a lot of thought and I just want to get this video out there, this prediction out there as quickly as possible so that in a couple months when I'm proven right and it turns out to be the exact character that I say here, I can be like, yo, I'm a freaking prophet. I called this two months ago and just feel kind of good about myself, you know? So <laughs> anyways, that is the purpose of today's video. And uh, without further ado, why don't we just jump right into it? And the first thing I want to do here real quick is take a look at last year's download celebration, the 300 million downloads, just to remind everybody what happened, right? So for part one, we got two new LRs, and it was a dual Dokkan Fest between AGL LR Gohan and Int LR Cell. Now, many of you guys will know that this was probably the worst celebration I've ever been through as a Dokkan player, just in terms of the number of stones that I spent to not pull a single copy of AGL Gohan. I still don't have him. Super excited to get him for this upcoming five year anniversary, but it was it was not a good time. Anyways, so that was part one, right? And then for part two, we got another new LR. A lot of people were expecting a LR by guys Goku, but instead we ended up getting, you know, a equally hyped to me, but to a lot of people was a disappointment. Um, new LR, the LR Android right here, Android 17, 18, and 16, right? So that was for part two, and it was a top legendary summon banner with two LRs featured. So it's this LR as well as Int LR Gohan. And of course, I pulled about six Int Gohans in 3,000 more stones, and I didn't pull a single copy. Not a single one of the Fizz LR Androids. So... 6,000 stones, didn't pull AGL Gohan, didn't pull the LR Androids, and actually if you go back to the 250 million downloads, when it was, I think, Transforming Goku and Transforming Frieza, right? I didn't pull a single copy of the Frieza either. So download celebrations are just really, really bad for me, guys. I do not like these celebrations because they just are not nice to me. Anniversaries typically are a lot better. But anyways, that's a different topic for a different day. I'm getting sidetracked. So this was last year's download celebration, all right? Now for this year, I'm thinking that's gonna be a GT-themed celebration, okay? And as far as the units go, for part one, I'm expecting a, wait for it, transforming LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that starts off as, of course, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and then through some condition or an active skill, they'll transform into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, or maybe like a regular transformation, and then an active skill for a, a like special super attack or something like that. Not sure yet, I'm not sure yet. But either way, it's gonna be Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as one card that transforms into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then of course, the other side of this dual Dokkan Fest it's going to be a transforming Omega Shenron that starts off as a Sin Shenron and then he absorbs the Dragon Balls and then becomes Omega Shenron. Now, this might seem like a completely random prediction just like out of nowhere and it kind of is because we don't have any like concrete facts, right? No like official news, no official leaks, official leaks from Dokener or anything like that, but it's actually not that random, all right? There is kind of a method to my madness. There is kind of a reasoning behind these predictions. Well, number one, of course, it's been a long time since we got Omega Shenron or Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. As you can see, they both released on August 3rd, 2017. It's July, right now, actually July 3rd, 2020. So it's been almost three years, almost three years 
and they both came out during the 200 million download celebration. 200 million downloads. Now this was when we got the whole infamous, you know, to be released leader skills for both these guys on global. Um, I already covered it in a previous video. Go check it out if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's been a long, long time since we had either of these characters. In fact, there's only still one Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in the game and only two Omega Shenrons, right? The STR one and this Fizz one. Now, before I get to the other reason why I think that it's most likely going to be a GT theme celebration, for part two, of course, we're also going to be getting a new non Dokkan Fest LR, like the LR Androids last year, right? And I think for this year, it's going to be a new LR Super Saiyan 4 full power Saiyan Goku. No, Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. I know that's like the official name. I know that's like maybe the legit name that he, he's supposed to have, but it just sounds so dumb to me, man. I hate it. Why is it Super Full Power Saiyan? Why can't it just be Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Like, how hard is that? It makes so much more sense. What is Super Full Power Saiyan 4? It's dumb, man. Come on. Come on. Nobody likes that. Just, just, just change it, Bandai. Come on. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I think we're getting a new version of this guy as well. And uh, he initially came out on July 1st, 2018. So it's been pretty much exactly two years since he came out on JP. Obviously, a little bit later on Global. But it's been long enough. We are due for another version of this guy as well. So that is my prediction for the three new LRs coming for the 350 million downloads, okay? Transforming Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta from Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and then a Sin Shenron that transforms into Omega Shenron, and then for part two, a new full power, or I guess super full power Saiyan 4 Goku. Now the reason I say this guy for part two is mainly because he's like the most hype other character aside from Gogeta and Omega Shenron that I can think of for GT. I guess it could be like a new LR Super 17 or something like that, but I don't know if anybody really wants that. I know there's actually Super 17 fans out there. I couldn't care less about him, I'll be honest, but I guess that'd be okay. I guess it'd be fine, but I would prefer a new Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. That's just me. Okay, so those are my predictions. But let's move on to my reasoning for why this might be more than just a random guess or random speculation. Okay, so hear me out. For the second anniversary, we got Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the original ones, right? The 120 leads, the STR and AGL, Goku and Vegeta, respectively. And then two years later, for the fourth anniversary, we got Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta again, but this time in their LR forms, okay? Now, if you go back to the 200 million download celebration, as you guys might remember, it was GT themed. We had Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4, or sorry, and uh, Omega Shenron, right? So I think, based on this trend, that we're due for another GT themed download celebration. And of course, Bringing back these guys makes a lot of sense for a GT themed download celebration. Neither of these units have LR versions and they definitely are hype enough characters that deserve to have LR forms. So I just feel like it makes sense, man. I feel like we're due. I feel like there's a good chance that it's going to happen. And once again, to reiterate, all right, so you guys don't forget my predictions for the 350 million download celebration for both global and JP starting near the end of August 2020 is a transforming Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, a transforming Omega Shenron, and finally, a LR Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku for part two, okay? Of course, you guys can let me know in the comments down below whether or not you agree with that. And if you guys have some different ideas, feel free to let me know. I will be very clear that I could be completely off base about this, okay? I could be completely wrong. And it could be three completely different characters that have nothing to do with GT. That could happen. Oh, you know what? Before we go, actually, on a random side note, I also think that with the download celebration, if it is going to be GT themed, that we're also going to be getting the Extreme Z Awakenings for 
either one or both of the original Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta because obviously the 120 leads are starting to get their EZAs on JP now. Super Saiyan 3 Broly is coming soon and uh, this would be the perfect time to EZA both or at least one of these guys. And hopefully if it's just one, then it's going to be the Goku. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if it was Vegeta first, but I would prefer Goku, all right? So uh, that's also, I guess, a side prediction. Now, this might mean that, you know, the EZAs become out of order for Global, since I don't think Global is going to be getting Super Saiyan 3 Broly, you know, before the 350 million downloads, right? But that's nothing new. Like, we've always been getting these EZAs, like, at random times and, like, out of order compared to JP, so it wouldn't be a huge deal. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Those are my predictions for the upcoming 300 and 50 million download celebration once again starting near the end of august for both global and jp and i would love to hear your thoughts about my predictions but also what you guys think we're gonna get for the celebration at this point you can really say anyone because nothing's been confirmed right but i do feel like the characters that i said have a very very good chance Okay, so that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.